Hello and welcome to another installment of Mag Jackal Labs, and I will be your host, teacher, and guide through this strangeness, Dr. Johnny Hellfire. And today, I'm going to give you a little lesson on live thumb drives, or CDs, or whatever the hell you want to call them. There's so many different names, but either way, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take Windows XP, and I'm going to put it on this. So I don't have to use ease anymore. I can just plug this into the computer, boot from it, and reformat. Because, honestly, these things are a pain in the ass. Uh, they're not as common these days. And, honestly, they're not really that durable. So why? Why do we persist on keeping our operating system something we need on these pieces of crap? Anyways. So, how am I going to do this? Well, first... The operating system we're installing today is Windows XP. That right there, basic, easy, simple, and very handy to have around just in case you need it for like a low-level computer like this. Just getting it up and running to see what's wrong with it and so on and so forth. Or maybe you just like the operating system. Either way, I'm doing a whole series of these so you'll get to see all the operating systems or as many as I can cram onto one of these. Well. Not a single one, I'll have a whole library of these. Anyways, so the way I did this was something called, zoom you in here, I call you Rufus. It's an awesome little program you can download, open source. It basically reads your disk right off the bat, boom. Put it in, you hear the noise, and vavoom. You just go to where yours is. Two gigabytes. By the way, you will need two gigabytes minimum for Windows XP. Honestly, this is just going to be the equivalent of an install disk, so really I wouldn't go all out and get a, like, a huge one or something like that. I know it's hard to find a two gigabyte these days. I just have a weird collection. So, next step you'll want to go ahead and have it on NTFS. Now the great thing about this program is it already comes with a number of operating systems and so on and so forth that you can already have and it's pretty cool but for now for now we're just going to go for a standard install for today just show you how to do it and also yeah this is how you do it I tried doing it on Mac, you have to open up terminal, you have to do a bunch of command prompts, it's complicated and scary. Honestly, I don't feel like doing that on my Mac because I don't want to accidentally reformat the whole hard drive. So what we're going to do is just do it on this. Rufus is compatible with XP and up, so you can use it on your Windows 10, your me, whatever. Anyways, wait, maybe not me. I'm I get them all confused. Anyways, so you have that, and then you go for the disk image. Now, the ISO, get it from wherever. I don't care. I'm not going to condone any kind of piracy or anything like that. Just, if you have a disk, use that. So, yeah. Anyways, you have that loaded up. You go and find it, which I have it on desktop. Scans image and we are ready. So have that, have that, have that. Hit start and the process begins as soon as you hit OK. Once you hit OK, it'll erase everything, blah blah blah, you know the deal. It's pretty straightforward. Hit OK and we're probably going to go for a jump cut right about now. Almost. 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 God, this takes forever. Ah. And there we go. It's all ready to go. Finished and good to go. Yeah, nice and redundant there, I know. But either way, now we have... Windows XP on a bootable drive instead of this thing. So I can go and do that and not worry about anything. Yes, it's an old computer, it doesn't matter. But, yes, there will be many more like this 
to come and I'll show you the different operating systems you can cram onto a single thumb drive not a single thumb drive I mean drive for each operating system you get the point either way this link down below and be sure to go and check out my other stuff it's called The Strange. And there we delve into matters of the occult, esoteric, paranormal, all that wonderful stuff. Anyways, the link for that's down below. Anyways, have to go and remember this was all just an experiment. Wah! Like. Subscribe. Thank you.